to my channel. My name is Anna Elaine. If you are new here, a very, very warm welcome to you. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to achieve this very glowy, dewy, radiant, pale skin look. It's perfect for summer, it's perfect for winter if you want to glow in winter as well, if your skin's feeling a little bit dry. It's just how to achieve that really almost like one Korean style dewy skin. I do actually use a couple of Korean products as well, but obviously the makeup styling is still very westernized because I don't really know how to do like traditional Korean style makeup. So I kind of took inspiration from Korea for the skin, for that very wet look. I tried to use a lot of cream products and liquids and such. It's a very chatty video, so I hope you enjoy it. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get into it. So I've just cleansed my face. It's completely dry. I haven't applied moisturizer though because Today I wanted to use this particular moisturizer actually in this tutorial because I tried it the other day um, and it gave the most dewiest effect to the skin. I'm not 100% sure actually how to pronounce the name of this. It's like the Belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I got sent this one from Style Korean, uh, so I will link that below where you can buy it if you're in Australia. There are two different types. There's the moisturizing balm, which I think is for like more dry skin types. And then if you've got more like normal to oily, there's the aqua balm. It's very, very similar in texture to the Dr. Dennis Gross. It's kind of a gel. I'm just going to use what's in the lid because there's quite a bit in there. So I'm basically treating this product kind of like a primer today. I'm also going to put a little bit of lip balm on just to prep my lips. I'm using the Biterium Balm de Rose, which... I just got and I only bought it because I listened to the podcast of Anna Gardner and Lily Pebbles where they were talking with Terry herself um, about the creation of this product and it convinced me to go get it because I've always thought it was just a really overpriced rose lip balm. It's so much more than a lip balm like oh I love it. Then I'm going to go on with another product that was sent to me by Style Korean. It makes sense to include a few Korean products in this tutorial because I am going for that very glowy um, almost guan sort of wet look to the skin which is very popular in Korea and I feel like that's the kind of look I love achieving in the summertime. So I'm using the Laneige BB Cushion Whitening and this is in the color 11C. So this is, they have a shade called 11 which is more warm toned and 11C is the more cool toned. Um, the puff I'm not a huge fan of so I like to go in with either a beauty blender or a sort of round top face brush. I'm going to use a beauty blender today because I want that very dewy glowy look which a beauty blender adds a little bit more moisture as you apply the product too. So I just dip it straight in there. I usually actually quite like using the um, puffs that products come with but not particularly this one. The BB cream didn't sit very well on my skin with the puff. If you're after a cushion BB cream or lightweight foundation that actually suits your complexion, I would highly recommend this. It works very well and it is a very, very pale shade. If you're more warm toned, I'd suggest getting um, the color 11, but this is 11C, so it works for me. What I love as well is it's not too cool toned. I have the Laneige um, Snow BB cream. And this is in the shade, actually I don't think this even has a shade written on it, but it's the lightest version of this. But that's so, so pink. I kind of don't like wearing it anymore because it's just way, way too pink for my skin. I like more neutral cool and that's exactly what this cushion is. So I was delighted when this arrived on my doorstep and it actually suited me. You get a light coverage with this. It's definitely more than like a sheer coverage. It's more than a tinted moisturizer, but you can get the same kind of coverage as a lightweight foundation. It reminds me a lot of the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation because it looks very natural on the skin. Very, very glowy. The other th reason I loved this is it comes in a big box with a refill as well. So the price actually includes two foundations for one. So I thought that was pretty good value. Much, much better value than my YSL cushion. Even though I love that product, it's so expensive. Now I'm just going to counteract the little bit of darkness I have under my eyes. I'm not going to do like a super huge amount of concealing, but I do want to use something that's really hydrating and doesn't look cakey, but does cover up a little bit more. So I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in Very Fair. I have seen that they're bringing out a fairer shade, which is awesome because this is not very fair at all actually. Um, it only just matches my skin tone, but they're bringing out a new shade very soon, which I will review for you guys, in the shade called Fairest, so it better damn well be the fairest shade possible. And I'm just going in with my Beauty Blender to blend that out as well. I do actually quite like this shade, even though it's not that pale, because it's got a really nice peachy kind of tone to it. So I actually tend to treat this product a little bit more like a 
liquid corrector this has probably one of my favorite concealer formulas it's so hydrating like my under eyes never look dry that's why I, I love this concealer but I just had always hoped they bring out a lighter shade because I know for some of you this is going to be like absolutely absolutely way too dark um, and as you can see on me it doesn't like it basically just blends in with my skin tone it offers no brightening qualities whatsoever although I must say I am starting to really not enjoy super bright under eyes it's just not something I'm into these days I prefer a much more natural you know um, just color corrected under eye like that's just brightens up the darkness but it doesn't look like I've got like you know huge triangles under my eyes of concealer I'm just really leaning away from that these days now I've just got one more step because I do still have some old um, pimples that are that oh, they're on their way out they're fading but the scars are still pretty prominent and obviously that BB cream was much too light to cover that so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral just with this little Eco Tools um, what is this one called micro blending brush just to cover them up a bit more because I use the smallest amount of product so it doesn't look heavy or cakey or anything but this this stuff covers like anything. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of powder under my eyes, um, nowhere else on my face because I want to keep that real dewy glow but the Too Faced Born This Way concealer is so moisturizing that it can crease a bit so I'm going to use my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder which I haven't used in ages but this is a fantastic like invisible invisible powder and it, it's a powder that actually helps to keep your under eye hydrated so I just use like a brush like this size this is an hourglass one and just literally I press it in don't wipe you just want to put it right under there so you don't get any creasing if you tend to crease and I usually put a little bit whatever's left on the brush over my eyelids too now I'm just going to contour a little bit but I'm going to use a gel product the Illamasqua gel sculpt in silhouette which for a fair person is possibly the scariest looking contour product ever but this stuff really works and so I use a stippling brush this is the Real Techniques stippling brush and I just like rub it on the end there pick up a little bit of product and then because it's a gel it's extremely sheer so you can't really muck this up but I cannot rave about this product enough I don't use it very often on my channel because I quite often you know powder my face and use powder products now for bronzer, my favorite sort of dewy, liquidy bronzer is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil. It's one of my favorite liquid bronzers. It's actually not too orange. It looks quite orange sitting right there. But it comes across as fairly cool toned for a bronzer. Um, and I was really surprised by it when I tried it. So I'm using the Exo Beauty Dense Fiber Brush, which gives a lovely diffused look. It's basically um, the big the big sister version of the Real Techniques one. So I use this for bronzer because it covers a little bit more area. And for this, I just go around the very perimeter of my face. I was using this all throughout summer and I was like, I must do a tutorial using this. But because my audience is predominantly like Northern Hemisphere, it just seemed a bit silly to be talking about it while you guys were all like rugged up in winter. So I actually really like um, doing summer tutorials in the wintertime here because it suits you guys but it's also kind of a nice um, memory back to the warm summer days that are very much long gone. I actually realized I don't own any cream blushes at the moment so I will try and attempt to use this uh, Benefit Benny tint. This has always petrified me. I've never wanted to reach for it but let's try it out in the tutorial. <laughs> I'm feeling like the best method might be to do it on the back of my hand. I'm just kind of like wiping some product on there and then grab my beauty blender and dab it in like that. That might work. It's a bit of a tedious method but at least it will ensure I don't end up with stripes on my face which is my biggest fear. Oh yeah that's nice. So I'm kind of focusing it right just on my apples or like just beside my apple and up just to give a little bit of a flush I'm going to have a nice pink stain on my hand so if you have the time that is a very tedious method but it works well and you're left with a lovely healthy flush without you know looking overboard it actually looks really natural because it's such a red sort of tone it looks like I've just been out in the sun and gotten a little bit burnt during the day which does that look nice is that a nice thing to look 
And then for glow, I'm going to use my Benefit High Beam. I like this a lot better. This didn't scare me as much. Um, and I feel like this is the sort of product you can just sort of slap right on to where you want it. I'm going to start with the Keeper's Bow and I'll use the other end of my Beauty Blender, the one that didn't have the blush. Now one last step, I'm going to intensify my highlight just a touch with a powder, but I'm using one that I think gives a very kind of wet look to the skin for some reason. It's the Too Faced Love Lights Highlighter in the colour Blinded by the Lights. So it's the palest one in the collection. And even though it's a powder, it's, it's kind of squishy. It's kind of got like a gel almost feel about it. Like it reminds me a wee bit of the Steeler ones. And I just like applying a tiny bit of this on top of that liquid and it just helps to intensify it a little bit more but it kind of gives a kind of wet glow I don't know why and if you want to go even a step further it actually works quite well um, applying it with a beauty blender you get even more kind of dewy glowiness hopefully my camera is picking up my highlight super glowy so I'm just going to fill in my brows with my usual routine. I won't film this because you guys see it all the time. It's not really relevant for the tutorial, but I'm just using my Benefit brow products. Um, I use shade 2. I've got the Precisely My Brow, the Cub Brow, and then actually this one's shade 3, the Gimme Brow. So for eyes, I also like to have a kind of glowy, wet look to the eyes as well when I do this really dewy sort of fresh makeup. I love the Australis Metallics eyeshadow in Guns N' Roses Petals. I use this lots before on my channel. Um, when I don't want it to look super foiled, I'll go in with just kind of a, you know, a smaller amount of it um, and just sort of apply and kind of blend it out quite a lot. Normally for an evening look, I would really pack it on and it almost gets like a, like a metallic foil effect. But when you take it, it's still pretty shiny, but uh, when you use it sparingly, it just looks a little bit more kind of like a wet sort of glitter. Then I'm just going to take my Ella Masca Powder Eyeshadow in Heroin, which is actually what I use more often as a contour colour. And I'm just going to contour my eye socket a little bit with this. Um, I like using powders in the crease because it helps to stop like your actual eyes creasing. Um, and I just use this sparingly. This is just to create a little bit more depth and definition. I'm also going to take a little bit of that colour and my Hourglass number 3, no number 4 brush, which is a blending brush. It's quite precise though. And I like to run this actually underneath the eye. As per usual, I'm going to line my waterline with my Chi Chi Double Ended Eye Brightener. And I'm actually going to go pretty heavy handed on this today. I don't want my eyes to look too harsh, but I do want to line the top lashes a little bit. So I'm going to use my Zoeva um, Pencil in Glance, which is a kind of shimmery brown. And I'm just going to apply this to the outer half of the top lash line. And then grab my pencil brush and smudge it, sort of pushing it inwards. my favorite way to do a liner at the moment I've really sort of come away from using liquid I'll probably use liquid liner like I don't know once a month now I love pencil it's so weird I would never have thought I was a pencil liner person but I really like the kind of softer look that it gives my face then you just want to apply some mascara your favorite to one can you guys guess what I'm using <laughs> This is my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. If you're new here, this is my favorite. And then I always use a waterproof mascara on my lower lashes because I have issues with smudging. And I find that waterproof mascara is the only way I don't really get smudging under my eyes. For this kind of dewy, glowy look, I usually like to go for a lip gloss rather than a lipstick. And I'm not the hugest fan of like using lip liner and stuff either. I just smack a lip gloss on and go. Um, one of my favorites is the NARS Lip Gloss in Chelsea Girls. I have this little small size here and I've really been enjoying it. And I also really like the Lip Injection Glossies from Too Faced, but I can't find the color that I wanted to use today. So I'm just gonna go with this NARS one. 
This has a little bit of a colour to it as well, which is quite nice because it brings a wee bit of life um, to your face. So this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. It looks really glowy and dewy, but it doesn't look like ridiculous. It doesn't look, you know, I have oil everywhere. If you do have an oily skin type, you might want to use a mattifying primer just on your like T-zone where you would get ultra oily. Um, and if you have a very, very dry skin type, you may even want to go in with a dewy sort of setting spray after. I don't need to because I just have, as I say, normal skin that kind of leans a little bit oily at times but generally my skin's pretty normal so I feel like if I forego powder I really don't need any sort of dewy mist after otherwise I just look a little bit too dewy. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it really helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me because it does really help me out and if you want to see my last tutorial for pale skin I'll link that up here you can go and watch it or you can subscribe by clicking on my face down here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!